Hey coaches, welcome to day eight of the new coach boot camp. Today I have a few topics for you guys that I'm really excited to talk about. Um, I was talking to Trisha on the phone yesterday and it really just made me realize that I'm kind of thinking a lot of the things that you guys are struggling with right now, they used to be my same struggles in the beginning too. And I really think it's that way for everyone. Um, so anyways, today's topic, I'm going to be talking about success club and challenge packs and how you can make those invites a little bit smoother. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, I kind of like looked and I was telling Trisha, um, cause we were talking about the challenge groups and she like mentioned how like I always, you know, sell a bunch of challenge packs and I'm like, well, you know what? It was actually like one of my weaknesses in the beginning. Like I cannot say sell a challenge pack to save the life of me. So I'm just telling you guys that for encouragement, like, you know, you might be scared of it. It might seem salesy to you. You can't seem to get people to say yes to you. It just takes practice and it just takes time and it just keep, like, you just have to keep doing it. You just have to keep inviting. You have to follow the five steps that we have. You don't have to follow verbatim what I say in mine, the one that's in the Dropbox that we've been talking about. But it is so important to be asking those questions, asking them about their goals, their obstacles, you know, what they're struggling with, and then telling them, making them aware how this challenge that we have can fit their goals or needs. That's why I am able to sell the amount of challenge packs that I sell, guys, because I am wrapping it up in a perfect little package and showing them exactly how this little challenge group is going to fit their needs um, and their goals. I'm wrapping it up with a little bow. I'm going to open it up real quick just so that we can kind of walk through it. I wasn't actually going to do this, but I feel like we should. Um, so let's see. The first question that I kind of ask is I ask about their goals for the next 8 to 12 weeks and what they struggle with and what are some of their obstacles. That's so important to know because it's so much stronger to know specifics than, you know, oh, I just want to lose weight or, um, I don't know. I'm having a brain fart right now, but you get what I'm saying. You have to know specifics and then you have to tell them how the challenge group is going to be perfect for them to do X, Y, and Z, whatever it is they told you that, um, they want to do. And then explain to them how the challenge pack is going to combine the program and it's going to combine all of those things, that accountability, that support, that motivation. And then, um, you know, just to let them know that, you know, you're here to help them regardless of what they decide. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this verbatim, but I'm just kind of looking through it real quick. Just making sure, you know, that you're asking these specific questions. And then when you're explaining the workouts and stuff, just explaining why it's going to be perfect for their goals and needs. Like if I was telling, if someone told me they wanted to lose 50 pounds and their favorite type of workout was cardio, I would tell them about Turbo Fire and tell them how awesome it is. It's so much fun. It has great music. It burns nine times the amount of fat as normal cardio and we have had challengers that have had amazing results. And then I would share a story about Kate. You know, Kate started Turbo Fire in January and she's lost over 50 pounds since then. And then I would share a picture. So it's all about how you explain it. And then it's all about how you explain Shakeology and, you know, how Shakeology is going to help them overcome their struggles and their obstacles and how that accountability and support is going to be there. Um, but you have to always end in a question. And on the last step, when you're explaining the price to them, you have got to explain it to them in a way where they realize that they're getting great value and a great deal. You know, you're going to get, I'm just going to read this part, the T25 Challenge Pack. It includes the entire program, the first 30 days of Shakeology, a full recipe guide and meal plan, the private Facebook group, and one-on-one -on -one access to me to work on your goals and struggles. It's 25% it's off and it's only $205 with 30-day money-back guarantee because I know value is important to you. Are you ready to get signed up and rock this together? So I highly encourage you guys to go download this document that I'm talking about. This is exactly what I use. This is in the Dropbox in the inviting and sharing folder and it's titled Just Five Steps. Again, you don't have to say it exactly how I'm saying it, but I revised what I was doing. I was using the Beachbody five-step sharing cycle since I first became a coach. 
and I just changed how I was doing this. What month is this? December? I just changed it like towards the end of October and I'm almost at Success Club 20 right now. And the same for last month. Actually, I think I was over 20 last month. I don't remember. I'm not saying that to brag, guys. I'm sharing that to encourage you because this is working. We are here to help people. That is our job as coaches. And being able to sell those challenge packs, you have got to do it, guys. I know that it's hard at first, but ask your sponsor for help. Selling those challenge packs is, you know, you're going to be able to get customers in there that are going to convert to your coaches, which we have a great document in the Dropbox on how to convert a customer to a coach. It's in the five-day challenge and the 30-day challenge folder. Um, so it's going to be great for that. You're going to get success stories out of it. And selling those challenge packs is what's going to help you to earn Success Club. And Success Club is the one goal that you have got to have every single month. You have got to be hitting that goal. If you're not hitting Success Club every month, you are not growing your business. You are not moving your business forward. I know that's another one that's a struggle to achieve in the beginning, but again, that's what we're here for as your sponsor. I want all of you to make Success Club fly at five your goal every month. That You only have to help three people to do that, just three, okay? So you would have to sell two challenge packs and a bag of Shakeology. A challenge pack is two points, a bag of Shakeology is one point, or you could sell five bags of Shakeology, however you want to do it. So um, as Amy mentioned in our five steps, um, what day was that? On day five when we were talking about challenges and the five steps in the invitation process, whenever you're reaching out to people and you're inviting them to challenges, you always want to go for the challenge pack first, okay? You want to go for that first. If there's some money objections, you share the story, share what we tell you in the script for the money objections, and if it still doesn't work, offer a five-day challenge. Um, but you always want to lead with the challenge packs first. The benefits of earning Success Club, one, you are going to get customer leads that you get paid commission on every single month, so that's like free money. That makes up several hundred dollars in my income every month. You are also going to be eligible for the Success Club trip. I know Amy mentioned it in our video yesterday, um, but our next one is a cruise, and mine's already paid for um, for earning Success Club. So, And you get to take your family with you, which I don't have a family, but I'm just telling you guys out there because I know that so many of you do. So it's just such a great goal to have. You're going to reap so many benefits from it. You're going to know you're growing your business forward. You're going to win those awesome trips. Oh, you get prizes every single month too. I forgot about that. What was the other thing? And the free commission. So you've got to do success club and you've got to do challenge packs. They really go together. And whenever you're starting a new coach out, every new coach needs to start with a challenge pack. If you don't come in this business with a challenge pack, I'm sorry, but you are going to be set up for failure. I always tell all my new coaches, you have got to come in with a challenge pack. How are you supposed to help anyone if you're not using the products yourself, if you've never had Shakeology yourself? Yes, it's expensive. I know it's expensive, but this is an investment in your business and your health. So if they're not willing to invest in a challenge pack, I hate to say it, but they might need to look into another business because if they were trying to look up or trying to start some other kind of business, like a $140 to $200 investment is nothing. So you need to be getting your new coaches started with challenge packs so that they can really start sharing their journeys on their walls too. Um, I felt like there was something else that I was going to say about that, but I can't remember. Oh, um, what I want y'all to do is with your lists that we keep talking about, you need to send your list to your sponsoring coach and you need to work with your sponsor on reaching out to the people on your list, inviting them to your upcoming challenge. We have a lot of awesome challenge groups planned out for January. We have a great group within the team that's working on that now, and we will be posting information about it soon. But there is a lot of different options that you can invite them to for January. And January is going to be huge. Everyone has New Year's resolutions, so you've got to be out there inviting people daily, one-on-one. -on -one. Not a mass invite, not a post on Facebook, one-on-one. -on -one. There's also an example of an invitation that I have been sending out in that same document that I keep talking about, the Just Five Steps document, that you can literally copy and paste and send it out. If you don't want to use my video, fine, don't use my video. If you want to, great, that's cool too. It's what it's there for. It's there to help you guys. 
If you want to make your own, that's cool too. Um, but that Im invitation is there for you guys to use. You can make it sound like you. You can just copy and paste it if you want. So you've got to be reaching out to those people. Um, another great way to um, get some challengers with challenge packs, um, a, a great thing that you can do. Sorry, I'm like totally scatterbrained. Um, is to create an event on Facebook. Um, you guys probably see that I do that all the time. And Trisha actually told me yesterday that you can make it public so that people can find this event. Um, and they'll be able to, like, people that aren't even your friends on Facebook can find it. So I'm just going to pull up one that I've done in the past um, and kind of read it to you guys. Let me pull up December 9th real quick. All right. So you literally just go into the events on Facebook. You make an event. We called ours for December 9th the Survive the Season with the Fit and Faithful. Um, you can make it for whatever you want. You can do it for the five-day challenge. You can do it for one of our 30-day challenges that we're coming up with. Um, but basically, y'all will see me create these because I invite my entire friends list. And you can just copy um, verbatim what we say um, in the event. And I'm actually, instead of reading it, reading it to y'all, I'll just um, post a document in the Dropbox so that y'all can um, look at it. I'll put it in the... Hang on. I'm sorry that I'm doing this as I'm making this video. Thanks for bearing with me and being patient. Um, let me just log in real quick. Just want to make sure what folder I'm going to put it in. So I will put it in the 5-day challenge and the 30-day challenge folder. Um, so those... Excuse me, the details of creating the event will be in there. And this is a great way to get people interested in it that you're not already talking to one-on-one. -on -one. I have had a lot of people that RSVP um, to the event that I would have never even thought would be interested in, and they end up joining a challenge. And when someone RSVPs, all you need to do is just reach out to them and say, you know, I saw that you RSVP'd to the event. You know, I'm excited to help you. And then go straight into the first step of the five-step sharing cycle. That's the document I keep talking about, the Just Five Steps. So go download that and look at it now. And if someone else um, or if someone in general, um, you know, says I, I need help losing weight or they comment on something that you're doing, like, you know, what is that turbo fire thing? You always want to go straight into an invite, you know, well, guess what? I'm actually hosting a challenge coming up that you can find out exactly what it is and it would really help you for reasons X, Y, and Z. You know, can I tell you more about it? Always go into the invite. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to just mention is if you're having a conversation with someone when you're forming them or whatever and you don't quite know how to go into the invite, like you don't know if it's the right point, a great phrase to use is, oh, by the way, I'm hosting this group coming up. Um, I'm really excited about it because it's going to be the small group of girls and we're all going to hold each other accountable and, you know, stay motivated to start out the new year the right way. And I'm just, you know, super stoked about doing this together. Um, and I would love to have you join us if it's something that you think, you know, would be helpful for you with your New Year's resolutions. You know, does this sound like a good fit to you or could I tell you more about it? Boom. All you got to do. Oh, by the way, I use it all the time. When I'm following up with prospects, I use it. Oh, by the way, did you get my last message about um, the deadline for the challenge group? Or, oh, by the way, did you get that video that I sent you about coaching? Oh, by the way, what was your favorite part about the video that I sent you? Use it all the time. So just a quick review. I know this was another long video. I'm sorry, but there's so many things that I like think of that I want to tell you guys. And it's so much easier to say it out loud than it is to type it in a group. So anyway, Success Club and Challenge Packs, they go hand in hand. You always want to focus on Success Club for your monthly goals. Make Success Club 5 your goal every month and work for your, work with your sponsor on how to achieve that. The Challenge Packs are what's going to help you get there. So remember that when you're inviting, you're always leading with the Challenge Packs and that your new coaches are always starting with Challenge Packs. And just two ways that can help with your invites and help to fill your challenge groups are creating that event. I'll upload the um, details in Dropbox and saying, oh, by the way, when you're doing the invitation or, or when you're in a conversation to do that invitation. So I hope some of these things really help you guys. If you have any more specific questions, feel free to ask um, and have a great day. Bye.